Yes, I do. You look close. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. Mm. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Yoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating. So I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact. So the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? That's what I'm thinking too. That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! The time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us. Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Hmm, okay. Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Hey, Katie Beast, how you doing? I'm doing good, how about you? Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Uh-huh. Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? The suicide. same as always, you have to vote for who the killer is. Think about it. A suicide means you've killed the mm -hmm. most important existence of all, yourself. Yep, that's why, that's why people who... <laughs> you could still get tried for suicide and convicted of your own murder. You're pretty much. Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> Why me? Um, Nagito, what do you mean if the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Hyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? No. That's totally impossible. Then she never would have killed her to begin with. She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. I think because of that fact, that that's definitely not what happened. Maybe she could have been tricked into killing Hiyoko. Maybe maybe Ibuki was the one who actually killed Hiyoko. Like, physically. Uh, good boy Nagito is now following. Thank you for, for following, Nagito. Um... See, because this is what I'm thinking. What if, what if Ibuki? What if I? What if I'm not thinking too much into it? What if Ibuki was ordered to kill Hiyoko and then kill herself? But if Ibuki's the killer, hey, she welcome back, Gorilla Strike. To falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hiyoko's body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive. When Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. That's very true. Hmm. I see. So that means... Uh, even then, who would have been the Black and the person who made the order or Ibuki? Well, funnily enough, we actually had this discussion in the last trial with, uh, with Fuyuhiko and Pekko. It would be the person who made the order would be the one considered the murderer in this case. There's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. What the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? Mm. 
According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? Forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So, hmm. maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. The weakest alibi? Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. But just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a good question. Someone actually in the chat just said that too. What if it was a recorded cheap video? surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually right? What time did Hajime see that video? Right before the good morning announcement. I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. Yeah. What's my guess as to who the killer is? I don't know. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. My crazy ass is leaning towards Nekomaru having something to do with this, but I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Yoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Hmm. Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. All right, well, we're going to have to do it. Whose alibi doesn't make as much sense? That's a count. Sonya's account. The movie's invitation ticket. The surveillance monitor video. Fuyuhiko's account. We can exclude the... Si okay, I want to look at these accounts again. Because I have a feeling it's going to be one of these... Right up until the Monokuma announcement, Mikan was with Hajime the whole time. Afterwards, she went to the hospital to check on everyone. Right, so it can't, it can't be Mikan if, th if this is to be, case, to be the case. She was with us the whole time up until the announcement. Which means she could not have possibly killed Hiyoko. Ah, uh, that answers my question. Uh, <laughs> Operation What the Fuck is a Go. Hmm... Monokuma's alibi is obviously the weakest. So, it can't be Mikan. What about Fuyuhiko? Uh, after Fuyuhiko met Mikan in front of the hospital, they split up the search for Ibuki. They only separated for a short time. And what about the others? And what are they going to say? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... No! No, that's not true! Mikan no, has an alibi! Not. As do I, technically. Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. You... you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. Yeah, uh, maybe we don't... We don't say that much. Hey, what kind of situation is that? <laughs> God damn it. I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hajime. <laughs> Too much info. <laughs> Too much info! <laughs> Chiaki's like, this does not please me. Yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. <laughs> yeah, she tried to cut off my airflow. You don't want to know. <laughs> And we went to the hospital together afterward, so we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. 
If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Mm hmm Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? I don't think so. Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process... If it was supposed to be an actual imitation murder, there'd be no reason to go through all of that trouble. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much. But that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. Hmm. I, th I think he's right. A different reason. If that's the case, are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap set by one of us. If so, then whose? And what kind of trap is it? I don't know. It's a good question, though. Ah, okay. There's the intermission. That felt like that felt like it went by pretty quick too. Well, hello there, Monami! The moss balls sure look tasty today! Stop it! Stop it! Don't characterize me as someone who lives off moss balls! And here's some Jets time! I'm playing Mario Party? What? Appeal time? Kind of big brother is gonna give you the chance to reclaim your honor. Show those jerks who treat you like a red-headed stepchild who's boss! Well, while you were whining, your time's already running out, so please make your appeal simple. Thousand words or so. That's too long. It'll just be a boring appeal. That was barely under an hour. Yeah, I thought so too. That that's really quick. What a disappointment. Um. Like some of the some of the trials that we've been doing have been like almost four hours in length. The fact that this intermission, unless there's another intermission somewhere in here. This, this trial feels surprisingly quick. I'm Monami. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. By your own volition at this point. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why. I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. Thanks. The reason the killer did an imitation murder is a reason other than falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? If so... I wish I could die from self-loathing. <laughs> Poor Demon Bunny. Thank you for the cheer, GGK. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already! Shut up forever! Crazy bastard. But I'm thinking about it again, man. He's totally right. It feels incomplete. It does. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. But we're assuming that. It's not just that. Come on. Try to remember the content of the movie. The lion that got killed second. That's the one Hiyoko's body was imitating, right? Theoretically, we're supposed to be killed with arrows. Mm. Even though we're calling it yeah. an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? I think I think Hiyoko's body fits the bill more for um for the Tin Man than the lion. 
but Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. Yeah. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I don't think it was. No. I think... I, I, I feel like that Hiyoka was an unfortunate witness to something. I'm resisting spoiler authority. Resist it! Resist it, Dark Umbreon! Resist it with every fiber of your being! I'm saying... Hiyoko's murder wasn't... What? I'm thinking they meant to murder Ibuki because it'd be really easy. But Hiyoko was there that night, trying to fix her sash, and saw something she shouldn't have. Um, I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like... For example, why did Yoko go to the music venue? So, you're saying the truth behind Yoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. <laughs> My poor Dark Davas of Destruction are getting riled up. Yeah, good for you, dude. Why she went to the room? Well, we know why, and that's going to be Sonya's testimony. For her account. Wizard of Monomy! Excuse me. Oh, my soul's going to room. Please scrap the thick paper. Why did Hyoko... go to the music venue? Wait, we're not even going to bring up Sonya's thing? There's no way we'd know that! Yes, there is! Maybe the killer summoned her. No. But that's not it. Maybe she got abducted by the killer! No. No, maybe... She went of her own free will. She was guided by the will of causality. I, okay, no. <laughs> no, not that last one. What do we agree with here? And with what? Why did Shoko go to the music venue? Wizard of Monomy. By hanging herself, my legs were full of arrows. Why did Timmy die by getting chopped into metal pieces? No. That's not gonna have anything to do with, with anything here. There's no way we'd know that! Maybe the killer summoned her. Right, that's not gonna have anything to do with it for, for this right now, at least. Sonya's account! We. Th Th this is why! Baseball bat? What? Here's the things. If that's not souls. Maybe she got abducted by the curtain. killer. No, maybe. She went of her own free will. Surveillance camera unit. Smash no longer works. Curtain. Where's the curtain? It was brought from the supermarket and not something that was originally here. She was guided by the will of causality. What is, what is what is the key say? Deep inside her kimono so it's pretty difficult to retrieve. Go to the music venue? There's no way we'd know that. Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it. No. Maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe. She went of her own free will. Her own free will. Or 
She was guided by the will of causality. Have anything. Those things are not going to have anything to do with it. Wait! There's no way that... The wind did it. I'm not trying to spoil, but you're making it hard. <laughs> oh, God. Go to the music venue? No, the video's not even a thing. Maybe the killer summoned her. See, that's not it. Maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe. She went of her own free will. Oh! I agree with that. Really? But why? I think Sonia's statement made Sonia everything said. seem more she likely, the and the key was the only thing I could will. think of that had something to do with it. Oh, 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 oh. Why the key? Why is it the key? Why is it not her account? Yes, she went of her own free will. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? No. Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no GGK way she did it. had time to lock <laughs> Why do you always think it's me? <laughs> Taylor could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. I won't lose. Oh no. Fine. Fucking put up your dukes. Let's go. Let's Are go. You saying my sword. was my sword's over there. I'll get it later. This will be my first and last highlight of the day. What? No! Th that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk! I'll shut you up right now! <laughs> we make a good gamer couple. We are a gamer couple! <laughs> uh oh. Step ladder candle smudge on the floor. Sonya's account. It's gonna be Sonya's account. Kyoko was that's locked inside about. her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room and forcibly abducted her. The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. I can't back down. No. Oh, shit. Here we go. Whew. We failed. Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly God abducted her. Damn you. The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. Ah. Whoa. Why I did I? Oh, I had no more left. Oh, my hand. Ow, oh, motherfucker. Hiyoko's room was locked. God damn it. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door. What? No, so no. I think he was in her kimono. Maybe the killer just put it there later. I can't back Again? Down. Oh, shit. Akata, you mean business. Jesus, ow. There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hiyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on. Try remembering Hiyoko's body. Her kimono is only one reason her kimono Damn it. Would be that messed up. Fucking she oh. Thought, but that's the no. Abducted, right? My gut is totally right after all. Oh, what's up? The final stretch of Akane's argument. She's finally revealed her ace in the hole. Hold on. Try remembering Hiyoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. And? There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer!
No. Allow she did not. Cut through those words. How the hell did you survive that? I had like a sliver of health, the that's why. The reason Kyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. <laughs> oh. What the fuck is this game? Oh! Wear her kimono? Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Kyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the kill. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, do whatever you want to me. Why is that your response? Haji man, now's your chance. God, no. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Fucking watching you. Hell no. Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Die, dude. Gundam, please stop! For his sake. <laughs> for his sake. Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? <laughs> of course. I've already <laughs> overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Whoa, dude. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is, it was an unfortunate coincidence. That's what I was thinking too this whole time. Coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? Most likely. It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation, Killed Hiyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder scene. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Hmm. Do you have any idea? Who could be calculative enough to have done this? Damn, we don't know the most important part. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? God damn it, dude! Oh, I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps! Everyone actually needs help from scum like me! God damn it, man. So what do you think? <laughs> Byakuya, he's dead. I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Really? Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? What are you talking about? Yeah, we, we know that for a fact. I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. God damn it, Komaeda. <laughs> so if she faked her death, and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene. There'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. This is true. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Yes, we did. I was about to say, I'm like, haven't we actually already established that? Uh, really? That's annoying. <laughs> I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. No, wait a minute. If she had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around? That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange? What's strange? Wait. Wait.
There's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. If she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Why are there no footprints on the step ladder? If anything... Oh, shit! Why? Improve it with this. Why were there no? F if Ibuki used the step ladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't. There was blood on the handle. Yeah, on the left side, but. Yeah, that step ladder was completely clean. No footprints or blood stains at all. You, you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate. Obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. Nagito Komaeda, you're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. He's a fucking genius. Insane! But a genius! Yes, we did. What if it was a recording? But no, it can't be. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. I am. Just as I thought it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video. Whether or not we can reach that hidden truth is all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but... Oh well, you should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. There's some hidden clue in that video. I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who saw the video. I've never been the debate this far. I should have really strange. It's like a suspicious spot. We can't see hair. There's also no blood stain on the side of the ladder either. Here. Was it was it that? That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that step ladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that step ladder weren't dirty, but on yeah. one side there was a blood stain right on the left side of the step ladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any bloodstains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. She should have. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. The step ladder in the video is completely bloody. There's something really confusing about this. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two step ladders were completely different. Well, yeah, completely different. Wait a minute, I'm... I think I figured something out here. I'm, I'm gonna wait a minute. Wait, are you saying there were two step ladders? Not even just two step ladders. But where would you find another step ladder? There was only one step ladder in the music venue. And one of the step ladders was somewhere other than the music venue. Okay, I think I think it's right. I think I'm right. What do you mean? You're suggesting that the step ladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki! All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills! Um, what are you two talking about? The step ladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Chiaki said the step ladder was at a different place, but... If that's the case, the thing that's different between that video and the actual scene of the crime... Is that thing the place where the killer did something? Ah, not again! What's the difference between the video I saw and the actual crime scene?
Nope. Nope. Oh my god, so many letters. I know, and... Hold on. Film. Is there an E anywhere? I'll try it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or, oh, filming. Aha! Fair enough. Oh, jeez. Ah, no! Jesus! Well then! Oh my god, okay. Hard. That's right. Besides the step ladder, the filming location must have been different too. That was filmed inside the. I know where it is. There's the second floor of the hospital. What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. It was filmed somewhere else. Where the other black curtain is. But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera. You know. <laughs> I uh, just watched your latest Excel video. I can explain the quantum temporal lock. It's still confusing you. Uh, no, I think I think I'm good with that. I think, maybe. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 let you know. Uh, the speed up. You should know who the killer is already. I think I do. There's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. I have a theory, and I I think I know who the killer is. In order to show us that they filmed the video with the music video instead of somewhere else. What did the killer do to that surveillance camera unit? Logic dive, here we go again! I'm okay with the logic dives. The fucking... Oh my god, the, the fucking hangman's gamut? No. Not so much. Question one. Which part of the killer... Part of the surveillance camera unit did the killer tamper with? Both. Oh shit, no, not both. <laughs> okay, that was um just the camera. I thought it was I thought it was gonna be both. Oh shit balls, man! God damn this thing. Okay. Forward help. Keep going. Keep diving. Go <laughs> we have to go deeper. Question two. Did the killer tamper with the camera at the music venue or the hospital? The hospital? Oh god, I feel like I'm starting to lose at these things. 
Yeah, no, it was it was the music venue. Shit. I think I'm stuck in my theory, and that's why I'm getting confused here. I keep going. We can do this. We can fucking fucking do this. the speed boost not really question three what did the killer do with the camera from the music venue surveillance camera unit they took it with them increase the signal no they took it with them there was no way to increase the signal i don't think yeah no there wasn't kazuichi even said so that you couldn't do that it's all coming together what's my theory who's the killer just, just wait and find out. I, mean, I want to see if I'm right. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue, when it was actually from somewhere else. Then, only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. I mean, you've got a point, but I was shocked, okay? He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. Thank you. At least Sonya's on my side. Well, that's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. He smashed it. They smashed the monitor. They destroyed it. I see. Killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. Yeah, the I know. it was able to connect between the hospital and the music thing was amazing enough. Even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital, the range would be pretty limited. Guess where it was coming from? The hospital. Conference room. Said that a third time, man. At least I, I think I get this one. This one. This one's gonna be easy. I should not have blown up the O. Oh, we got another one. At least this one's easy. Oh, they're giving. They're giving it all to me in order. Pleasant. Thank you, game. Of course. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. Shit. Hang me. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oops. I need an E first. See. Oh shit. Damn it. I could have used that R. Whoa, what? It is. Boom! Done. The conference room. This is when things start to get scary. Scary? Things haven't been scary yet? Possible that. It was filmed at the hospital's conference room. Huh? Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. 
That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. If the conference room looked like the music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. That work was getting the lighting, getting the lighting right, getting the curtain. Music venue curtain. There's no way the conference room and the music venue look like- Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? It might have tampered with the camera. Jesus. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming location. Nep with cheer! Unless the main protagonist How finally arrives in his eye, Nep! I should be pretty stupid. Itchy thanks! I want to refute that statement from fucking hell. The hospital conference room resembled the music venue. What did the killer do? They made the music venue resemble the conference There's room no with the, conference the curtain. Room. And the music venue. Which place resembled? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? That must be it! That is what it is. What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain, but after the incident... Uh, what does the cheer do, Umbreon? Uh, the cheers are just a way to support me, support the stream. Uh, you can, you can either get a couple free bits from Twitch by watching ads or paying some money for bits, and then you can use them to cheer, get your messages in the stream itself, uh, as well as, you know, it, it helps, it helps me out because I get, like, one cent per cheer, basically, per bit, I should say, one cent per bit, used for cheer. It somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Oh, yeah? Well, your face looks that curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. Exactly. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is the same color as the music venue stage. Ho, ho, ho. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor match. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. Hey, uh, Tadazel, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Lars CS, thank you for the follow. Welcome, my dear. Uh... What's the problem? Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the concert room. It's gotta be that. Here's the video. The, the candle? I can prove it with this. The darkness? I guess so, the darkness. You're referring to the candle and the music video, right? Yeah, I guess so. You're looking a little low on HP there. I know, it's why I'm trying to be careful. In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, it's pretty strange. Yeah, why wouldn't they just have used the lights there? The music venue has good light, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. <laughs> well, welcome. I hope you enjoyed that as well. Wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but... The main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. Possibly. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is the site. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. 
It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. Which means that had to have been the killer. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up, so I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in mm -hmm. the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. Nap with the cheer! Extra cheer for the demon lolly being dead! <laughs> the incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime, it's occurring in the conference room! I feel like I've heard Bayside cops say that before. But isn't it the other way around? Um, if Ibuki's <laughs> hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. Yeah. There was a fake summer. The fake must have been the Ibuki in the conference room. I see. That's the only thing that makes sense. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. Ravioli, ravioli, they finally killed the demon lolly. <laughs> It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. That's what happened. And no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki. She was already dead. And the one who set a trap for but me was... why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. And if I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. I... I think I know who the killer is. You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? I think I do. I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. I can't believe it though. There's no fucking way, but it has to be. It's you! You're the only one! I don't believe it! Mika, you're the killer, aren't you? Uh, what are you talking about? Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? The killer? Huh? I, 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 I'm a killer? What is this? I knew it. Uh, hey, don't you think that's kind of impossible? No. If you think about it, there's only one person that could have possibly done it. Well, technically two, I guess. No, it couldn't have been because Fuyuhiko was locked in his cottage. It could only have been her because that was filmed in the conference room of the hospital. Only the people who were in the hospital around that time could have possibly done it. Myself, Fuyuhiko, and Mikan. Fuyuhiko was in his cabin. Only myself and Mikan were in the hospital and I was the one who had to run to the music venue to go find the body. It could only have been her to, f to do that video at the same time. A chick like her as the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. How and why? She's right! A, a clumsy slowpoke like me killing someone? That's completely out of the question. But we're the only ones. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. Exactly. Which, if we were, it's basically been reversed. Everybody else has an alibi now except the two of us. Except I do because of me running out, out that bit with that video. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up early. Only Hajime and me can't have an alibi. It's just a coincidence. But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? Tell 
I'll use the on-call room upstairs. At that time, you said you were going to the on-call room, but you actually went to the conference room. Exactly. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music theater. You know what's funny? Akane actually said there was a hospital gown missing or something like that. That she wanted a gown and she couldn't find one. It's because this. She took a gown. And showed that to me. <laughs> Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Exactly. You weren't there, so you're clear. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Akane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. Yep, they were out of commission. So that must mean... Please, wait a second! What It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? He's right. No, not the fan service. Oh, no. She shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? Wrong. He, he's totally wrong. It's not what you think. Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Nikon is the killer? Well, like... Like a good friend has always told me, once you eliminate every possible, uh, once you eliminate every other alternative, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be true. I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. Alace, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. <laughs> it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, I easily win first place with my soft reputation. Oh god damn it. Uh Dark you have to you have to click it through the bits menu on your on your chat box, not the ads you see when you start streams. Even I can't deny that. How many times do I have to tell you? It's impossible for me to kill someone! Your friend is Sherlock Holmes? Ew. <laughs> What do you say, Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? Oh, come on. Uh, Abat, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Hajime! Um, um. <laughs> we look like the villain. Everyone's kanging up on me. Aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Why do I have a feeling this is all an act? Her personality has been all a fucking act. There's no way. Uh, can you hold on a minute? Oh god, there's the crazy eyes. What's up? Huh? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all. And I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important Dude, get time. Get on like with this. it. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. Huh? I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Well, Thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Are you serious? What are you on about? I've been so focused on everybody else this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? <laughs> say it! You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. Actually, this is a game. I swear to God, Bear, if you keep breaking the fourth wall, I'm going to break your face against that fourth wall. Please don't say such controversial statements. <laughs> well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. 
Dang, that's a huge deal. A decisive clue. Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. This is true. That That is very true. No, that's actually a good question. I mean, I guess she could have prepared all that the night before in, in the place, but I don't know. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? Right. What's wrong with that? Yeah. I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope. It's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. Deus Ex Machina! What the hell? The Gaming Archer! Thanks for the follow! But why is it like this? The loopy booty used to hang herself is on one end of the rope. And the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. It's only natural that the killer would trip up Hajime. Aside from being the protagonist, he's the guy who has been solving all of the crimes. You want to trick the smartest guy in the room. Yeah, it's true. It was the same thing with Makoto with the last game. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means... Well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped oh. the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. Okay, but then what? Hmm. Hey, Don, I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. Yeah, why have you said nothing? What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? Woot! I can now cheer on top of Patreon! Hey, thanks, Aether! I appreciate the cheer! <laughs> I don't think much of a clue. Might as well search another place. Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here, too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Oh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? Okay. The killer strangled his boot. And then... And then... I finished speaking. <laughs> huh? How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. You did? Those words contain a decisive clue. Is that really true? About the, the rope fray? 